All right, in any event, this name Barkley was very important. In the year 1783, a man named Abraham Barkley stood up in a town meeting here in what was uh, at that point called Willettstown and gave an impassioned speech that he believed the town should be renamed Washington in Washington's honor. There's definitely a connection uh, here. I am a local historian and have spent uh, quite a bit of time over the years down in the Rutgers Special Collections Library down in New Brunswick, which if you're looking for local history, that's the best place to go. I did come across an excerpt from Washington's field notes from, I believe, 1777 or 1778, uh, when he was probably in camp maybe 10 or 12 miles from here, and the army was starving. He sent an envoy to Willettstown where he procured food. Uh, I think it was three horses and two pigs, and the army ate for the next five days. I'd have to assume that the Barkaloo family, as well as the Willett family, and possibly even the Oberts, if they were around at that point in time, were more than likely involved. No one was really rushing to claim you know, great patriotism because they all felt the British were going to be coming back. So these records were just simply lost to history. You can gain a lot of insight you know, to an area from studying the grave markers um, in the area and then usually trace it back to the history of the area, depending on where you are. Teddy and I would love to be traveling around the country and doing what we do here all over uh, America and then eventually all over the world. Um, if we can get some kind of backing down the line, we would certainly appreciate it. But hopefully you enjoy what we've been doing so far, and we're just going to keep on going from here. Any final thoughts, Ted? Yes. The older the graveyard, the more creepy it is. <laughs> and the more historical. But, yeah, you got that. But, oh, man, it's creepy. Over and out. Down Stones, guys, out.